This is Scott Larson at the University of Iowa. I'm going to show you a lateral rectus recession today with the limbal incision. Initially, the conjunctiva is incised in a perpendicular line from the limbus. The tissue is undermined with Westcott scissors, and the incision is carried around the limbus, followed by a second relaxing incision perpendicular to the limbus. The tissue is then spread in the quadrants below and above the muscle. This is really done by feel as you feel the tips of the scissors penetrate through the posterior tenons. A von Graefe hook is then used to hook around the muscle. It's important to make sure the tip comes out clean so you know that the muscle has not been split. A green hook can then be used underneath the muscle to hold it in place while the dissection is performed. In this case, sharp dissection is being performed initially to expose the muscle poles. Any bleeding vessels can be cauterized using bipolar cautery. Care is taken to ensure the muscle is not traumatized. A small barbie retractor can be very helpful to expose the muscle and ensure that the orbital fat is not violated when cleaning the muscle more posteriorly. The inferior oblique muscle will be found at the lower edge of the lateral rectus. Care should be taken to separate these two muscles and not to injure the inferior oblique. Once the muscle is clean of its uh, attachments, I like to use a Helveston ruler to measure the position of the muscle in relation to the limbus. Then feeding a 6-0 double-armed vicral suture through the muscle and locking it at each border will allow it to be securely attached to the sutures. Care should be taken to remove the muscle from the sclera so that the sutures are not cut and the foot plates can also be trimmed under the muscle belly. Moody forceps are very helpful to not only hold the eye in proper position but to act as a marker for the upper and lower borders of the mu original muscle insertion. This can allow the sutures to then be placed in the proper orientation. It's safest to approach the sclera with a flat needle. The needle should just barely be visible the entire length of the scleral pass to ensure appropriate depth. Once the muscle is in the proper position, it can be measured again. If the muscle is too close to the limbus, it could be let out at this point in time. Once the muscle has been resecured, the conjunctiva can be closed with interrupted 8-0 vicral suture. I like to use 
two limbal sutures and then two sutures to close the relaxing incisions. You can see at the end of the case with this technique, the eye looks fairly quiet. I like to irrigate around the muscle a small amount of 1% non-preserved lidocaine to aid in postoperative comfort. This is Scott Larson at the University of Iowa and this was a lateral rectus recession. Thank you for watching.